Hey guys, it's me, Brooklyn Swatchy. As you guys saw in the title of this video, I am going to be in Antarctica. I know I'm kind of late to my Antarctica posting. Um, I'm much better on TikTok. YouTube, I feel like it takes me longer and then I, yeah. So, I'm going to take you guys with me through Antarctica. This vlog is going to be different than my normal vlogs. Because I'm usually like vlogging, recording when I'm there. But Antarctica was so crazy. I was up from 3 a.m. until like midnight every single day. I was running around and I would have my camera to take pictures. But then I would have my phone to take videos for TikTok. And so it was just all over the place. But I have so many videos and stuff I want to show you guys, so I'm going to be doing it in a sit-down way where I'll be explaining it instead of vlogging like I normally do. You all may have saw on TikTok, there's something that's been trending a lot, and that was the Drake Passage and the North Sea. So to get to Antarctica, the first thing you need to go through is the Drake Passage. So here's some videos of the Drake Passage. It was crazy. It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be, like, insanely scary, but I was literally on Deck 11 walking around. Um, and then there was at a point where they did end up closing Deck 11, so we couldn't go out there. And then here's this one insane video of the waves literally coming into the glass on deck 11 it was crazy but yeah here's a few clips and here you can hear what it sounded like through our end Going through the Drake Passage, many people didn't feel great. And also, many people were kind of just tired because people were taking Dramamine and all this stuff. So we ended up playing like trivia all day. And then we went up to the gym where we were at the top, highest point and forward to watch the wave. And then I also ended up watching second and 26. Um, because, you know, I'm an Alabama fan. Um, and I did go to Alabama. And so it was fun watching that. And then uh, next obstacle was the gym. I don't know why I decided to work out during the Drake Passage, but I was falling over. But I ended up finishing, and then I went outside, and I went to go whale watching. But unfortunately, there was just, like, no whales. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm never going to see a whale. Just you wait. And so the next part of this video, I then ended up staying up for sunset, but it was cloudy, so there was no sunset. So unfortunately, it's just these dark clouds. Okay guys, now it's time for the exciting time because this is going to be our first day in Antarctica. And this is when I took a two hour nap and I woke up at 3 a.m. to then get up and see the sunrise, which again, it was so cloudy, but it was snowing. I'm from Florida. Snow is not a thing. I've never really had snow. I've seen it like a few times, but like never seen snow on a cruise ship. So it was so cool. So yeah, if you look closely in these videos, you can see the snow coming down and it's so amazing. And I even like made a little snowman. I wrote Roll Tide in the snow. It was, wow. My hands look freezing. And then after that, I went back to bed for another nap. And then I woke up in Antarctica. So enjoy these amazing videos of me in Antarctica for the first day where we saw penguins, whales, glaciers, mountains, snow, everything. It was so beautiful. Hi from Antarctica! <laughs> all that first amazingness we then headed into the Gurland Strait and guys this place is unreal there are mountains surrounding us the whole way through there's snow everywhere there's whales there's penguins it was amazing <laughs> they're waddling <laughs> 
I will never forget this experience and I hope you enjoy the Grill Ranch too because I think this is probably one of my favorite places on earth, especially to take videos and pictures, but just to have witnessed and seen, I cannot wait to go back one day. Yeah, here it is. Oh, that's a whale. That's a Follow me on TikTok, you will have seen lifeguard Michael has never seen snow ever in his life. So him getting to go to Antarctica, he was so excited. And everybody wanted to hear his reaction of what it was like when he got there. And here it is. Oh, finally, we arrived in Antarctica, but it's super cold <laughs> and super beautiful as well. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know it was this good. Like really, really good. I've seen a couple of whales, a couple of penguins. I've seen snow for the first time. Yes, so I would like to live here, but uh, for now, let me just pass through. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's the best feeling ever. I've, I'm so excited and I want to continue seeing more. I'm yes. super excited. You guys should be here. <laughs> and here's my favorite video of the day, which was of the whales. Of course, we couldn't make a TikTok without Derek. So here's a fun TikTok that we made with the food and beverage team and a bunch of other crew members. That was penguin inspired. Antarctic ice is making its way onto the serenaded seas. So we noticed this happening on deck 12, so we ended up going down to deck five, and they had this crane type thing to raise it up, but unfortunately the ice was too heavy, so they then decided to just bring it up one of the lower decks of the ship. And then they ended up bringing a piece of the iceberg up to deck 11 where you were able to take a picture with it, which was super cool. Then it was time for another light night to go see if there was any whales and stuff. So we went up to the vortex and we looked around. We did end up seeing some whales. It was so beautiful. And then it got really dark and then we headed on to the helipad, which didn't even look that dark. I don't even know what I'm saying. But we made another TikTok with some of our favorite performers. <laughs> And then I decided to wake up at 3 a.m. again to see if maybe sunrise would get better. It did not get better, but even more snow was on the top deck and it was so amazing. Like, look at the snow falling down. Look at the smile on my face. Like, guys, it was amazing. And again, I made a snowman, of course, and I literally wanted to have a snowball fight, but like, no one was awake. <laughs> and then I went back to sleep again, because you know the routine, and we made our way to Elephant Island. Elephant Island is known for having elephant seals, but there's this huge glacier that you can see in these videos. And we learned a pretty cool history lesson from Captain Stig, and it was about Sir Ernest Shackleton, who many of you may know or may not know, but he was aboard the sailing vessel, the Endurance, which tr attempted to make its first land crossing of the Antarctica continent, but unfortunately the ship was aborted due to the damage of a pack of ice which sunk it to the depths of the sea in 1915. The crew of the Endurance had to survive on Elephant Island for 128 days with limited food and no form of communication. You may ask what that limited food was and they survived only on penguins and seals. All 28 men did survive this crazy four months and made it onto another ship and was able to return home. This definitely hadn't have been easy for these people, but it is a very inspiring story. But yeah, Elephant Island had these huge mountains and it was so beautiful. 
and we just kept sailing around and we did end up seeing more whales throughout that day and then after coming back inside and warming up it was then time to go for the penguin party and had such a great night and they played some jazz music and the serenade of the seas orchestra was there and it was just so much fun and everybody's outfits were perfect <laughs> I had such a great time at the party and after party. And I even made this funny ski goggle TikTok. Hey. Now I'm going to give you guys this little video uh, that I made on TikTok. It was just very informative of all the information of us sailing through Cape Horn, which was after the Drake Passage, which is the southernmost point of the Terra de Fuego. Hey guys, today we are sailing past Cape Horn. Cape Horn is the southernmost point of the Terra de Fuego of the archipelago. Sorry if I'm butchering anything, trying my best. This place is really cool. We actually learned from the captain that this is the calmest seas he's ever seen in this area. This place is known for many many shipwrecks and damages to ships due to the bad weather that it endures here. Many people lost their lives while trying to travel through here before the Panama Canal was built. So this is a very significant place and they have a memorial to honor those that have lost their lives. And here is a video of it. I just want to say how thankful I am for the captain for informing us about all this information. And he also decided to read us a poem about those who have lost their lives trying to sail in Cape Horn. I am the Albatross that waits for you at the end of the world. I am the forgotten souls of dead mariners who passed Cape Horn from all oceans of the earth. But they did not die in the furious waves. Today they sail on my wings towards, towards eternity. In the last crack of the Antarctic winds. Thank you and take a moment of silence and think about what has been going on here over centuries. And with that, I would like to wish all of you a nice afternoon and evening. Thank you. It was so crazy to sail by such a historic place. And I thank Captain Stig for doing that for us today. But thanks so much for watching. But I hope you enjoyed all the videos. And I hope you make your way to Antarctica one day. 